Before this moment, I had never held a gun, let alone fired one. Wanting to learn more about Canadian gun culture, I headed out to the Stittsville firing range with Brandon Wallingford. Brandon is the president of the Carleton University Firearms Association. After arriving at the outdoor firing range, we started to set up. First up was a target change. We're going to do a target change in a bit, which means that everybody has to open up the magazines on their rifles, open up the breech so that the breech is where the bullets go in, so that you can prove that they're all safe. And then everybody steps away from the firing line, and then we all go down around the line through the gateway over there to put up our targets. So we'll do that in a minute, and then we can get started on shooting them. These are actually uh, ladder targets. So they, uh, they have uh, multiple layers of paint on them. So when you break them, they splatter uh, with the different colors that are underneath. So you can actually see them pretty well from a distance. Then it was time to pull out the guns. So this is an SKS. It's a Chinese SKS. And uh, it's designed by the Russians. They made these before they made the AK-47. It's semi-automatic. Distinction between an AK-47 and this in terms of the action, which is what the mechanism that feeds the bullets into the chamber and then fires them, is that in this case, it requires a, an individual pull of the trigger. So once it's loaded, you just pull the trigger. Um, once it's cocked back, pull the trigger, it fires, pull the trigger again, it fires until you expend all the rounds. With an automatic like the AK-47, you're going to pull the trigger and it's just going to continue to expend rounds until it uses all of them. So. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, like a nine or something. Just a little to the left that time. Keep it steady. Not bad. There are many different styles and types of guns. Two guns of the same model don't always look the same, which Brandon says can often lead to confusion and sometimes fear. It looks all wood and it kind of almost looks like a hunting rifle or something like that. It is a military assault rifle, whereas that one over there is not a military anything. It just looks what people consider military from video games. This confusion isn't just limited to aesthetics. Brandon says one of the biggest misconceptions many Canadians have about gun owners is not about the guns they shoot, rather why they shoot them. The biggest misconception is probably that that we're like these crazy gun nut people that just want to shoot things all the time. We like to go shooting and it's something that we enjoy, but it, it really is, it's a sport. It's a community based on friendships and a shared passion for guns. You get guys who are there every Saturday and, you know, they all know each other and whatever the case may be, they, they just get to know each other and they enjoy it and they talk to each other and get along. It's, it's a really, like, friendly environment. Everybody knows the rules and everybody knows how to, like, be safe. For a lot of people, part of the, the whole experience is sharing their guns and, and letting other people try them and trying other people's guns. It, it really is a great way to save a lot of money if you have different friends with different guns. Then you can go out and try a lot of different things without spending a whole lot of money buying all of these guns. Money aside, for Brandon, it's all about feel. I like the smell of the gunpowder and the, the feel of the gun kicking back into my shoulder and I enjoy the the sense of accomplishment when I hit my target and get it right in the dead center or when I hit that skeet like uh, target the, when the, the bird's flying through the air and you smash it into a million pieces it's a very satisfying feeling. 